Hi, I'm Shannon Martin with Texas Blue Lake Pools, and I'd like to answer one of the most popular questions we've been receiving lately, and that is, can you build a salt pool? And yes, we can build you a swimming pool, and yes, we can sanitize your water with salt. Now there's a difference because the actual building of the swimming pool is construction, and the sanitizing of the water is a mechanism that you purchase in addition to the pool, and it converts the salt water into chlorine, which sanitizes your water. I'm going to explain a little bit how that works and what products you would use to make that work. You would actually purchase something like a Pentair IC40, which is a salt generator. And we would put salt in the water of your pool. And as that salt water, the salt dissolves in your water, and as it passes through a cell, it converts it to chlorine. So you might ask, how does that work? Well, it's through electrolysis. Now, a DC current is passed through a salt solution, causing a disassociation between the actual ingredients of salt, which is sodium chloride, and water. It, the chlorine is manufactured through this cell, and it goes directly into the water stream. The amount produced will vary depending on the, the salt unit itself, the salt level, and the condition of the cell. I will tell you an example. A Pentair IC40 will produce 1.8 pounds of chlorine in a 24-hour period at 100% output. Now there are some byproducts to this production and that byproduct is sodium hydroxide. The sodium hydroxide has a pH of 14, so it raises your pH. So that might answer another question. Why do I have to lower my pH when I have a salt pool? And that is to keep that salt into solution, and you lower it with muriatic acid or pH decreaser. Now, how much acid do I need to add? Well, you need to bring down the pH to 7.4 to 7.2, depending on how many gallons and how high your pH would depend on how much acid or pH decreaser you would need. We do have a lab here in our store, and we'll be more than happy to test your pH at any time for you and give you an exact amount. Other byproducts of the cell production is small amounts of ozone and hydrogen. Now these, these gases actually are produced at a higher rate as your salt level lowers. Eventually the cell will produce only these products if you didn't put salt back into the pool. Now how do you test if you have salt in the water? There's two ways of testing and that is through a test strip or our meter that's here in our store. I will tell you that we use both when you come in, and at home you can actually own this test strips, and they're very accurate. It actually tests for salt only, where our meter tests for salt in any other total dissolved solids that might be in the swimming pool. Now, how do you add the salt to your water? Many people want to know how does the salt get in the pool? We actually pour salt directly into the pool. You want to be able to sweep it with a brush or a broom, until it's completely dissolved. We want to make sure it's dissolved. Um, new plaster pools though, if you have a brand new swimming pool that maybe we just built you, we'd like you to wait 28 days before you actually put the first addition of salt into the pool. And on any fresh fill or startup, we want you to wait 24 hours um, after putting the salt in to turn the mechanism on. So recapping that, that's Brand new pool, new plaster, I want you to wait 28 days before you put the salt in, and then I want 24 more hours before we turn the mechanism on. Something else that's very commonly asked of us is, how long does that cell last? Well, the cell lasts, um, life. it has a lifetime of about 5,000 hours. Manufacturers say that a cell will last anywhere from three to five years. And you know, a consumer that's running at 24-7 at 100% output, the cell will last about 208 days. Um, you know, not all of us will need it at 100%. So I will let you know that I have one and I absolutely love it. And this will be my fifth year. So I'm very excited. Now, the other question we get is what kind of salt can you use? Well, there are several and not all salts are the same. Um, some salt actually have yellow in them and that will stain your pool. So we want to be very cautious that you don't use any of those salts. Rock salt actually has dirt in it. We do not want you using that in your swimming pool. Some water softener salts are okay, 
but they have other active ingredients in them and that's not good for your swimming pool. So it's very hard to tell you what they're actually made of. So an uniodined table salt is best and we actually carry swimming pool salt in our store for your convenience. I'm sure you have lots of other questions and we'd love to answer them. We do find this is a very effective way to sanitize your pool and we look forward to talking to you soon at Texas Blue Lake Pools.